Hey, Leslie, I've been looking at this feature in C-sharp called exception filters. Now, I didn't even know it was in the language, but apparently it's been there since C-sharp 6. Would you mind taking a quick moment to show me how this thing works? Sure thing, Cecil. So it's really cool. So to demonstrate that, I have this basic program uh, with this array that I've initialized, and it's at size 3. And then I've created this add array value method that allows me to just add new values to the array. So with exception filters, what's really cool is Using this when keyword here, I can be more specific about when I want a particular catch block to trigger. So in this instance, for example, I have, if I were to put in an index that was negative, then using this conditional statement here where index is less than zero, I can cause this catch block to occur, which will give me this specific message. Or if I put in an index that was greater than the length of the array, then this catch block will activate and give me this message. So it's a really great tool to use, especially if you have exceptions that have multiple parts to it that maybe you want to parse out and have different handlings of, depending on the situation. Yeah, I really like that. And it's such an elegant way to solve that problem, right? When I think about you know the code that I would have had to have written to, to deal with that, Right, like the multiple if else statements, you know, tons of case statements and switches and all those types of things. And so it's so much less code and again, so much more readable too to do it that way. Mm -hmm. Short, sweet, and to the point. I also think of uh, all those HTTP exceptions you can get sometimes when you're making a web app. I feel like this would be really useful for that where you have different codes like a 404 error or a 401 error and being able to handle them differently depending on what yeah, your scenarios sure. are. Yeah, so in this example, uh, for instance, all I did was use an array index of negative one, which obviously isn't going to fly. So I get this first message based off of this first catch block here. And then the second catch block will trigger when I try to use an index that is greater than three, and I will get the second message. Pretty sweet. Nice. And again, like I really like this feature because it just it just makes so much more sense to me. Now, Absolutely. if you're watching and you think this feature is useful, make sure you check out the links in the description below where you can learn how to use exception filters inside of your code too.